Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Um, I am determined to get as many videos done as I can. It is 5 in the morning. But I am determined. I am very determined. Let's see if I can get this done. Today I will be titling it my Nimbus makeup tutorial because I will be centering it around this pink metallic shade in the Profusion Metallics palette. I have used every single shade of in before this one and none of the ones afterwards. Once I get, I think, to this one, the last one, I will be able to do a review because I'm just really, 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 really trying with this palette. All right. So starting off with my Pure 4 in 1 Correcting Primer. I don't know what other videos I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to be filming a mask a day. Maybe a vanity tour. I don't know. So we're going to find out. All right. So the eyeshadow primer that I use every day is this Hard Candy Eyes the Limit eyeshadow primer, and I'm actually a pretty big fan of it. I do have to say the one downfall of the Metallics palette is that it's big. It has no mirror. None whatsoever. I think I'm actually going to do a review. I think my next video that I'm going to record today is going to be a review. Because I got this idea when I was just taking a bath. Because I needed it before I started filming. And that is to do a review. So today I'm going for a very pinky, grungy look with that Nimbus shade. And of course just setting it down with my powder foundation because there is nothing in that palette that I can use to set anything, to set an eye primer down because it's all metallic glittery junk. There's nothing matte about that palette. So today I will also be using in conjunction with that Profusion Metallics palette the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Quad in the shade Bed of Roses. It came from the Rebel Rose collection, which of course you guys know is one of my favorite collections from Wet n Wild that they ever did. So I am going to go ahead and start working with this palette. Isn't it? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take my Luxie Large Eye Blending Brush and I'm going to take this little red shade right here. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's any names in these, so. I could have kind of noticed something. Oh, this is cruelty free coffee. Okay. I just noticed that like one of the last ingredients, like I literally just noticed, but one of the last ingredients in here is carmine. That actually is the last ingredient, I think. But it's not vegan, and it doesn't claim to be vegan, it just claims to be cruelty free. But carmine, the science lesson there, is crushed beetles, so... I don't know how that's not cool, how that's cruelty free when you're killing beetles. Make the pigment. I don't know. I just, it is my favorite, just going back and forth between that shade and really, really, this look is going to be, as I said before, very grungy and pink. I just really think that this is a beautiful, beautiful mask if you're going for this type of a look. So if you have it, then definitely use it. But it's very dark, so 
for me to use it as a transition shade, I have to go back and forth and not really tap off the product. All right. So to go into my little star, I made this my everyday palette. Every single look that I have done in my previous videos has had a staple from this palette so that way I can really get to know it and either fall in love or hate it. I want to do a review so bad on it, but I want to have all the information first before I do. So we have my LMR Cosmetics brush and taking Nimbus. This is my Nimbus, as I said, eyeshadow tutorial, makeup tutorial. So I am basing my whole makeup look around this shadow. And I'm just applying it everywhere. On the lid at least. go back into my crease shade and my eye blender brush. Mary. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and work on the face some more while I really, really think about what I want to do. I think I have an idea, but I don't have everything down in my head just yet, so I'm going to go ahead and work on the face, as I said before, and really think about it. All right, so the foundation that I will be using today is the Revlon Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. I have mine in shade 120. It's in shade 120 buff. I can't remember if this is a good shade match for me, but this is a really nice foundation. I really like it. I will be blending it out with the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose to kind of correlate with the Rebel Rose brush. And I only took one pump on the brush. I've actually, for the past few days, been loving using a brush to blend out foundation for some reason, which for like a good solid three years I just used a sponge so this is very unique I just don't feel like my sponge is blending out the foundation as best as I, it used to. It could be the sponge. I, I don't know. I still use the sponge. It's just I don't use it for foundation right now. Alright. So something else I have been really into lately for some weird reason is a stick bronzer. And the one that I have been using is the Sinful Colors. That's the brand. Face Forward Bronzer Stick, and mine is in the shade 3003 Hot and Bother. It looks really dark on the bottom, but it's actually really not. There is shimmer in this, by the way, so, and I just put it 
right there. I do contour with this, or I have at least a, a contour base because I'm more into bronzing. I put this around my lip, like so, and on my forehead, like that. And I'm going to blend that out with my e.l.f. contour brush. I do live at the beach, so, like, very warm and beachy tones are kind of speaking to me at the moment. So this will be titled Nimbus in parentheses, makeup tutorial. However, I will be putting in the description um, my pink grungy, pink, it's a pink grungy look. I've been drinking so much water. It might be because I'm seven months pregnant, but I don't know. I just, I've been craving water. So for a liquid highlight, I am using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. I always put a liquid glow down. I have the golden one. And I do actually use my Essence Beauty Blender to blend this out. It does actually blend out to like a natural highlight for some reason, but it does for me blend out to a natural highlight. The concealer I will be using is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum All Day Idle Brightening Concealer. This is in like a too dark shade, but I'm using a very bright banana powder. Of course, you do not have to use these products to get this type of a look. I'm just giving you an idea of like if you wanted to do something like this. Some products that you could use. Taking my Essence Beauty Blender again and my Ben Nye Banana Luxury Bake or yeah Luxury Powder. It doesn't say Luxury Baking Powder but it says Luxury Powder. And I am going to go ahead and blend this out and then take powder with my sponge there you go. and press it in like so. Gonna go in with my Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Powder, and I'm gonna take this Alamar Cosmetics Bronzer Brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face. I do have dry skin, but I do find that. does actually help make my makeup last all day to set it with a powder despite the fact that I do have dry skin. The important thing to note is that I have normal to dry skin, not extremely dry skin. My boyfriend is at work and I'm just trying to get as much done recording wise as possible before he gets home because that's when it's hard to record 
Now doing my brows, I do have an updated brow routine. It is my May updated brow routine, 2020 I think is what it should be called. So I'm not going to go too in depth as to what I am doing here because I do have a full dedicated video on what I use. I did just watch Jeffree Star cremated collection review. Um, he said it's something that, like, I don't want to get into, like, drama with Jeffree Star. Because I know, like, even if you're, like, a little YouTuber, if you say something against him, he kind of, like, comes at you. I love Jeffree Star. I 110% love Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star taught me to be unique and to love who I am when I was younger. But he said that his cremated palette was something nobody's done before. And I remember Urban Decay releasing the Naked Smoky palette that was literally all blacks, grays, and white. Of course, I think Jeffree Star's formula is probably a lot better than the Naked palettes. I have Jeffree Star's Thirsty palette. I love Jeffree Star's Thirsty palette. I haven't used any Naked palettes, though. But the Thirsty palettes sit in my Freelancer kit. I don't know. I just, I don't, it might be the only thing on the market right now, but it's not like the only gothic neutral palette you can get for smoky eyes. Oh well. I feel so bad speaking about Jeffree Star because I love him and I love like everything that he has done makeup wise. You know, I have my own personal feelings about like the Davi vanity situation that's going on right now. I have my own personal experience and stuff like that. So, well, not with Davi vanity, but I have my own personal experience with that type of. Situation. I do have a video up on my channel previously talking about my experience. So I'm not going to get too into it because it is very emotional for me. Going back into the Profusion of Palettes palette, I'm taking this shade right here. It's called Illusion. I am going to use that as a problem highlight and as an inner corner. I've used this shade a few times, actually, for different looks. Going back to my Wet n Wild palette with my Luxie brush, I'm going to take that red again and again, really tap it off. 
go back and forth trying to marry the priest. And then I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to go into this darker shade right here. And again, just snap it off. I think I'm going to put it on the outer corner. And in the crease as well. And then I'm just going to take Nimbus on my finger and apply that on the lid just to remake it pop. Because of the fact that I have a couple layers of this color down now, it's not blended, it's blended, blended perfectly to perfection with the crease and stuff like that, but it's not blended away. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes, actually. And I'm still in this palette right here. And I'm going to take my Moda BMX 402 smudger brush, and I am just going to take what I put in the crease, which would be this one first, so the red first. And I'm going to put that all over the lower lash. And I'm definitely connecting it to the outer corner up here to kind of create like a rounded, all blended together mortician type of look. Because when I think of like the lower lash line connecting to like the crease, I just think, especially with these colors, it kind of gives me like a mortician type of vibe. And then I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to go in with the purple brown black thing, whatever I put in the outer corner and in the crease. I am, I am just putting that on the outer corner of the lower lash line to match the top. like that. I'm sorry if you hear me sighing. I just don't feel very well. I'm a month pregnant, so can't help that. Going in with my Koki Cosmetics Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in the shade 529 Champagne. Just to have a little bit of a pop. A bit of something there. Not a lot, but a little bit. Then I'm going to take my ColourPop BFF liquid liner in Numero Uno. And I am doing a wing because it's a grungy look. The mascara I will be using today is the Flower Beauty Zoom In Ultimate Mascara.
All right, that was the first layer. Now to go in with my L'Oreal Chromatic Bronze palette. Take the bronzer. Let me look like a good brush. All right. I've decided on my LMR Cosmetics Complexion brush, and I'm going to take the bronzer in this palette. I'm just gonna bronze up the face. As I said, I live at the beach and it is summertime, so I've been getting some serious summery beachy sun vibes. I actually did go to the beach a couple of days ago. Water is fudging cold because they just opened up our beaches. And then I'm going to take my LA Colors blush. This is just a peachy blush. And I'm going to use my Eco Tools setting brush. Oh no, this is Essential Tools. I'm sorry. And putting that lightly on the on the apples of my cheek to really blend out that bronzer with it. I think this combo actually looks really good together. This blush and this bronzer, I think it looks dope. Of course, taking my Beauty Professional Detailed Highlighter Brush, and I will be using the white highlight in the chromatic bronze. I actually think that this is my favorite highlight. It's very angelic. It kind of reminds me of the highlight in that Emily Noel. Um, I think it's like the Essential palette is what it's called. Or the Needs. The Needs. The Needs is what it's called. It just reminds, it's like white and beautiful and angelic and I really love it on my nose. I just can't get enough of this highlight. This is definitely my favorite highlight in the palette. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish my mascara. I do my two-step mascara always every look. I have stuck with my binge schedule of recording, and I'm so proud of myself. It's killing me, but I'm proud of myself. Going in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in 1993. I am going to just line and fill in my lip. And then, of course, I have been using the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Cream Lipsticks. I have a sample thing of it that I got from Sephora, I guess. And we have three left to try, and I'm going to be doing Chiro. I will be doing Chiro for this look today. And I do apply it with my Moda BMX 498 line brush. I apply it with a different brush. But I do apply this with a brush, so. Taking a little bit. I do have a review on this that I recorded. Should be up on my channel. If not, stay tuned. And it will be. And my opinion on this lipstick, these lipsticks, has not changed from the review. Alright, and last but not least, setting spray. 
I now have the LA Colors little setting spray thing. I've used this before. It's kind of really cute. I really like it. But I hate the spray on because I can't guess where it's going to go. Where spray is weird. But anyways, that is it for my Nimbus makeup tutorial. I hope you guys liked this. It's kind of like grungy pink. I like it. I love this look. I would totally wear this look out anywhere. Alright, I hope you guys liked this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Give me a comment down below if you enjoy this type of makeup or if you did this look. Or give me suggestions on what I can be binge recording. Just let me know what you guys think of this makeup look if you wore it or what you think of it on me. Give this video a like if you enjoyed because I really like how this eye look turned out. I really like it. And give me a subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. So, and ring that bell. So I'll see you guys in my next video.